What's up, guys? Going to show you how to squat out after each workout. You need to go up to the computer or use your phone and plug in anything that we were recording that day. That's like your personal report card. Um, if you're competitive, it actually puts you on a leaderboard, so you can check in on that and see, you know, see uh, where you're at compared to everybody else. But most importantly, it lets us know where you're at, and so we can see if, you, if we're making progress along the way when you do that workout again or you do that movement. If you're recording how many reps after you plug that information in, you need to go through the standard stretching routine. Um, if you need, if you got any really tight areas and you need more foam rolling, uh, do that first and then stretch. It always helps to do that up, to do that first and then stretch. But uh, if you're in a hurry, you need to get your stretching in, that's fine too. So you're gonna grab a band, pull it up over your head. A lot of people end up pulling the chest and that doesn't really do much. What you wanna do is pull it in that direction. Uh, swing it out wide. One thing that you gotta focus on that's gonna help you get more flexible is taking deep breaths. So you wanna deep breath in, you want to exhale, and as you're exhaling, you want to increase the stretch. You'll notice that it allows your muscles to relax, and you can get deeper in all the stretches. The next thing you're going to do is cross the body. Notice you still got to keep both shoulder blades on the, on the ground. Imagine like you're on a clock, and you were going up the hour hand on the clock, keeping it low to the ground, but off the ground as well. And now I'm going to do the same things on the other side. Um, also, want to hit this one. We're pulling the heel in right here and then the last band stretch we want to do after we hit both sides is a hip flexor and a quad stretch it's a little difficult to get into this also helps to have something to hold on to but you got a band around a foot one knee's on the ground you pull that over and you drive the knee and the hip into the ground now my knee is not really on the ground it's more like the very top of my quad and i'm pushing the hip forward and it's really open up the hip flexor and this quad right here i'm not putting a ton of attention on the band i'm just holding it up here throwing it over my shoulder and then leaning forward in this opposite knee. So spend at least 12 to 15 seconds on each one of those stretches. Then you're gonna to go to the TRX. You gotta keep the, uh, the torso stretched out. So we wanna get here, just drop into the chest with the arms wide. And then we wanna get some twists going. We're keeping that trunk moving and turning the hips. And then one of the last stretches you need to do is cross the ankle over to the knee. Dropping the hip, holding that five seconds, and just letting those arms hang, and getting both sides twice like that. That is your standard stretching routine, and that is how you squat out when you get done with your workout at the squat.